I am making this video upon request of one of my students who has repeatedly asked me to make a short video about the understanding of percentage strength of oleum. Now I can understand figures like 109% oleum can surprise you that how can percentage be more than 100%. Now this is not the percentage in the strict mathematical sense. It is a percentage of oleum represented in terms of some technical aspect of its concentration and we need to know how it is related to the concentration of the sample. Now first of all basics what is oleum? When sulfuric acid H2SO4 reacts with sulfur trioxide SO3 it forms a compound H2S2O7 which is commonly known as oleum. Now what does 109 percent means? It means that when 100 grams of such a sample is taken. The sample is sulfuric acid which contains some dissolved sulfur trioxide. So when 100 grams of such a sample is taken, it is going to require 9 grams of water so as to convert all the sulfur trioxide present in the sample to sulfuric acid. Now sulfur trioxide reacts with water to form sulfuric acid. You can see this equation is balanced. So, because this equation is balanced, now the molecular mass of sulfur trioxide 80 grams, molecular mass of water 18 grams. So, 80 grams of SO3 is going to completely react with 18 grams to form corresponding amount of sulfuric acid. Now, from here, we can conclude that 80 upon X is equal to 18 by 9. What does this mean? 80 gram of sulfur trioxide reacts with 18 gram of water. So, 9 gram of water would require how much amount of sulfur trioxide. So after calculation now we can see it is going to react with 40 grams of sulfur trioxide. Now this means that from 109 percent sample of oleum it requires 9 gram of water to convert all the sulfur trioxide to sulfuric acid which means it is going to have 40 grams of sulfur trioxide in a 100 gram sample. Now we know the exact split of the sample. 100 gram of this sample contains 40 gram SO3 and obviously the remaining is 60 grams of sulfuric acid. So what happens finally? 60 grams sulfuric acid, 40 grams of sulfur trioxide, when 9 gram of water is added, overall it becomes 109 grams. How 109 grams? 60 grams sulfuric acid as it is, the 40 gram SO3 and 9 gram of water are going to react with each other to form 49 gram of sulfuric acid. So the total mass of sulfuric acid is going to be 60 gram plus 49 gram is equal to 109 grams. I hope you are getting it now. As a quick method, you can also note down this formula. Mass of sulfur trioxide in a 100 gram sample upon 80 is equal to percentage strength of oleum minus 100 upon 18. Now left part of this equation represents the number of moles of SO3 as you must have understood and the right side of the equation represents number of moles of water required as you can easily understand. Let us take another example. It is 113.5% oleum. I am putting this value in this equation and I am calculating mass equal to 60 grams of SO3. It means that when the percentage is 113.5%, the 100 gram sample contains 60 grams of SO3. This is something quick. Now, a simple question comes to mind. Then what can be the maximum percentage of oleum which can be expressed by this method? Now suppose the sample is 100% SO3 means there is no sulfuric acid at all. It contains only SO3. So applying the same concept and formula 100 by 80 is equal to X. Let it be the strength finally minus 100 by 18. I am calculating it to be 122.5. It means that the maximum representation in this manner can be 122.5% oleum. Not more than that. Now you watch this video again. Make your notes. Be happy. Till next time, thank you.